December 26th, 10 a.m. District Court, courtroom number three. Blah, 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 blah. Actually, it's kind of interesting. In the third game, we get a new judge. Whoa. I think the fourth they game finally we finally kick him out. Because no, he's the, no, just that. <laughs> no, the, no, the, there'll be times where that judge is busy with another case, and we'll get a second judge. Oh. Okay. Anyway. Court is now in session for the trial of Mr. Miles Edgeworth. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Oh, let's forget this guy. Lord. I'm gonna have to edit that so much. Lord. He's freaking Dracula. Holy crap! This dude is freaking scary, isn't he? He's Dracula. Jesus. He's like freaking. He looks like George Washington's evil brother. No, really. Benedict Arnold. Crablocks. Does he look like Dracula? <laughs> call him Russ. We all call him Russ. Yeah. Yeah, hey, it looks like I know where I know where Edgeworth gets his truffle from. Jeez, yeah, he does look like he does look like Edgeworth's truffle. Dracula. Eyes. He looks like he could be Edgeworth's grandfather. It now makes sense. What if he maybe he is his like grandfather or something? He could be partially related. It you know? now makes maybe sense. Maybe he was related to the murder of his father because Edgeworth, his father would be a son. Edgeworth <laughs> really is Alucard. The Von Karma is Dracula, and Phoenix Wright is Richard Belmont. This game makes no sense anymore. Let's move on. Because. Herb! Of um, Mr. Von Karma, is the prosecution ready? Because in Dracula's Chronicles, the uh, opening cinematic, uh, Richard Belmont does a slam, uh, like Phoenix Wright oh, yeah. does. Game, game, please. <laughs> Sorry. Fool. You seriously think that I would stand here if I was not completely prepared? You sound like Vegeta. <laughs> kind of. <laughs> right! M my apologies! He's even got the judge scared! Which is something that Dracula can do. Mm. Very well! Your opening statement, please! <sighs> decisive evidence. A decisive witness. What else could possibly be required? Ah, or nothing, of course! It should be fine! The prosecution may call its first witness! What's with this guy? Is he royalty or Dracula or something? How am I supposed to fight against this? I don't even have a whip upgrade yet. I know, right? Thank you. <laughs> I call in the I call the detective in charge of this case, Detective Dick Gumshoe. That's his first name. Okay, <laughs> Gumshoe's first. Let's see how this goes. Okay, Gumshoe, yay! I'm gonna I'm gonna be playing four different voices right now. Yeah, <gasps> Describe the incident now. <laughs> That's really what he just said. Yeah, you- Yes, sir! Detective Gumshoe looks nervous! Uh, please look- t Please take a look at the map! He does, uh, control it well, so it does- <laughs> Come on, enough check- Come on, we're playing the game. Enough to- Enough to catch me in time, please. Uh, please take a look at the map! The murder happened late Christmas Eve around midnight. It, there was one boat- but One boat in the very middle of the wake. Flashing for some reason. <laughs> blinking. There were <laughs> blinking. There were two men on the boat. Now, there happened to be a woman camping on the edge of the wake. A lot of heart. A lot of love. At 12:10 a.m., she had two pistol shots. Okay. What a heart. <laughs> what a heart. But then the boat started to move. It went towards the boat rental shop. A Wentel shop. <laughs> Wentel suit. <clears throat> Overhead map in the court record! Testify to the court about your arrest. Now! Kakarot. Whoa, 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 wait! Mr. Von Karma! Yes. Actually, I'm the one who's supposed to be handling these proceedings! <laughs> Just like Edgeworth's <laughs> head shake. Wrong! There is only one thing you need to do here. You will slam down your gavel and say the word guilty. That is your role. Y yes, of course! You're quite right! <laughs> no, he's not! <laughs> With the testimony! The arrest of Edgeworth. The arrest of Edgeworth. A man called to the station around 30 minutes after midnight. We head to the scene of the crime as fast as we could. That's where we found Mr. Edgeworth. Now, I didn't suspect him of anything at all. Nothing but, at all. the next morning, 
A body was found in the wake. So we had to arrest Mr. Edgeworth. So no wake to... <laughs> I see! Very well. Begin your cross-examination, attorney. Now! <laughs> Ooh, he's freaking scary. Okay. So we got a man called to the station about 30 minutes in the I think we probably just have the press everything. Usually Gumshoe is the press everything. Hold it! You received a call from a man? No, <laughs> a woman. Man. No, it was somewhere in the middle. No, it was a transvestite. Err, uh, Tim Curry. Tim Curry. Err, yeah, yeah, yeah. uh, yup. But you s oh. But you said there was a woman camping there. She was the one who heard the two gunshots, right? Ooh. He sounds scary, doesn't he? Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that woman and the man who called into the department were two different people, obviously. <laughs> different people? <laughs> there were two witnesses. Erg! Their testimonies were quite similar, however. Today I've summoned the woman who was camping. Oh, hold me. Jackson scares me. The woman who was camping, lot of heart. Lot of heart. What happened next, detective? We, okay, we head to the crime scene. That's okay. Hold it. How long was it between receiving the report and your arrival at the lake? Er, oh, uh, well, I would say uh, about f uh, three minutes. That's pretty fast. Our motto for the month is. Get that quick! Just for the month. <laughs> <laughs> no, remember, no, remember the, remember the second case where he defended, where he said he got there really fast, and he's like, "That's pretty fast." He said, "Our month this month is our month, this month is fast delivery service." Oh, so or it's faster. Always. It's always something. It's always something that's basically the same, but rephrase it from there. Objection! Objection! Uh, Ooh, that was just a special attack. <laughs> I like the way it blinked when he did. Ding! Detective, you are afraid from casually revealing department secrets. Yes, sir. Sorry, sir. Yes, because knowing what your motto of the month is was really secretive. Oh. Do that, and you will be able to look forward to your next salary review. So much to look forward to these days. This is no time for daydreaming. Continue! Y yes, sir. That was a you, know what's you guys realize... Yeah, it's something weird I never noticed until this now. Mm. Those flags in the background. Oh, yeah. They're just like orange with like black squiggles on them. Huh. Yeah, Whatever the country that's supposed to be. I don't know what country that's supposed to be. Uh, that's so we found Mr. Edgeworth. <clears throat> Hold it! What was Mr. Edgeworth like when you saw him then? Well, from what I saw, he looked pretty well axed. Not like a moo at all, really. <laughs> Really Freaking like this dude's objecting everything in the world. Uh -huh. Detective, the court requires your f the facts, not your opinion. How many years have you been on the force? Facts only, detective. Hard, cold, objective facts. Y yes, sir. Man, he's got his share of objections. But I just said that. Objection. Now nah, I didn't suspect him at all. Anything. Okay. Hold it. Why didn't you think he was suspicious? You should know. We have a deep twisting relationship between the p between the prosecutors. Objection. <laughs> I'm one too. Detective, the court isn't here for your mustings. Deep trusting poppycock. Uh -oh. I've never heard so many flippant comments from an active detective on the force. <sighs> Detective Gumshoe doesn't look so good. Continue. Now. But next morning, a body was found away. Hold it. Do you find any clues on the body? A single bullet was recovered from the body. He was, he was shot through the heart. <laughs> Fatally. Oh. <laughs> George, here's the bullet. Hey, you didn't say your touch. It didn't strike bone, so the shape is well preserved. Very well! The court accepts a bullet into evidence! Pistol bullets, the court record! 
beautiful. So we have to arrest Mr. Edgeworth. Okay. Oh, it's laughing to press, so hopefully we'll find something. You didn't press the first two statements. Yeah, we, yeah, we did. Why is that? Well, we found the murder weapon in the boat. The murder weapon? A pistol. Detective Gumshoe! This is a vital piece of information! Please revise your testimony! Right, all right. Why? So sorry, Your Honor. Okay, so we get more testimony. The moment when we found the boat was decisive evidence. Okay. Let me press that one. Hold it! What about the pistol made it decisive evidence? Tsk, tsk, tsk. The way he smiles is really creepy. He's yeah. like... <laughs> Ack! He's got the same evil laugh as Edgeworth! <laughs> There were fingerprints on the pistol found the boat. They were queer prints from Mr. Edgeworth's white hand. Well, what? Order! Order! So Mr. Edgeworth's fingerprints were found on the murder weapon? Y yes, Your Honor. Judge, this is the weapon in question. Uh, it, it, it accepted its evidence. Pistol has a record. Members of the court, we now have the pistol used in the murder, and the bullets found in the body. Detective! Y y yes sir Was the bullets found in the, bo found in the body fired from this pistol? Yes, the ballistic markings on the bullet matched the pistol. Mm. You have a line. <laughs> hey, Nick. What does he mean by ballistic markings? Shocking! <laughs> to imagine someone here does not know something as basic as ballistic markings! 